On today's show, Japan is trying to build a robot that can play baseball. Oh, trying. Do or, well, do or do not. Okay. Spotify and Uber are collaborating to make your ride so musical. And speaking of music, a music video is using scientific techniques to bring sound to life. Hmm. Very exciting stuff. A lot of sound. It's tomorrow daily. <laughs> Greetings, citizens of the internet. Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm your host, Ashley Skeleton. Join me as always, punching the sky on a Monday, Kale Anonymous. <clears throat> you look like Link today. That, I Thank you. Gonna, this I is didn't my, want to tell you to. <laughs> this is my hero's tunic. Thank yeah, you very much. You've been playing too much Mario Kart. That is true. That's I've been riding the true. Master Cycle always, this weekend. Always, very exciting. Um, that Hyrule Castle track is so much They fun. change all the coins into rupees. I know. Sorry. All right. So much. We have other things to talk about. We do. So let's hit the headlines. <laughs> Okay, baseball robots. Mm -hmm. uh, once again, teaching robots things is either really cool or really scary. This, I would say, falls on the really cool side yeah, of the spectrum. Sounds cool. Uh, this is awesome. This is the work of the Ishikawa Watanabe Laboratory at the University of Tokyo. Uh, for the last several years, apparently, a team of researchers at this university have been working on perfecting a range of separate robots. So they've been using multiple robots. Here they are. There's one throwing. <laughs> they have, like, they <laughs> always are. They, uh, so each one of them can perform a separate task. This one's tracking, so you can see the cameras are watching the ball. They got their eye on the ball. <laughs> uh, and the end goal of this is combining them into a single humanoid robot that can play baseball. So there it is. Oh, batting. just one robot. Yeah, look okay. at this one's batting. Cool. Yeah. So there's lots of different kinds of robots. So they have the throwing robot, which we saw, that uses fingers, similar to how humans use them to throw a ball with precision. Apparently, they can throw into a strike zone with 90% accuracy. Oh, my God. The throw, uh, so then there's the tracking system. It uses pan and tilt axes to achieve a wide field of view. There's high-speed actuators in there, a high-speed visual feedback to track a target moving at a high velocity. This is the running robot. Uh, the batting robot you just saw uses high-speed stereo vision to track the ball and hit it anywhere in the strike zone. And then there, this is a bipedal running robot that uses high-speed visual feedback to note the position of the robot and adjust its balance in real time. And then so, there's catching robots. Um, it controls a, uh, <laughs> it, they have this hand that can open and close 10 times a second. Wow. And it measures the ball's flight using high-speed tracking, the same tracking uh, cameras and everything. So th this is one group working on on all of these different robotics. Then. Yeah, yeah, they're working on all Oof. these different aspects of playing baseball, and then they're hoping someday that they'll be able to, like, just like Captain Planet, put, like, or a Power Ranger, yeah. like, put all of them together and create Megazord. <laughs> Shoot. That plays baseball, so it's pretty cool. It would be, cool. like, perfect at baseball. It would be really would good. Be. I mean, it would be really, really good at it. The thing is, is, is though, some people would argue that that would be very boring to watch an all-robot base, all baseball game because you would have to program the game, so you'd kind of know what the outcome would be. So with humans, yeah, there's margin for error. There's, like, things that could go wrong. Mm -hmm. but with robot baseball, if they really perfected it, it would be kind of boring. Yeah, but then we add, like, obstacles and, like, deadly things, like Traps fire and, yeah, and okay. chainsaw right, and stuff right. like that. I like it. But it's I like just, battle bots, but with, like, baseball. Baseball battle bots. I like mm -hmm. it. Um, but no, I, I saw this and I just thought it was so, so cool. And, uh, and I always just love the idea of, you know, someday we're just flip on the TV and it's like, oh, it's, you yeah. know, it's the World Series of Robot Baseball. Yeah. Like, we have this whole alternate Babe Ruth world. Robot. Yeah. Babe yeah. Bot. Babe Ruth Bot. That's like pretty it. cool. That's it's pretty, pretty cool. I thought it was really neat. So, nice. okay, uh, I heard about this partnership. I don't know all about it, and I want to know if it's available here, so tell me about Uber and Spotify. So I don't know if you listening or viewing have used Uber, but Uber is a, uh, is like, it's like a, instead of a cab, you use your phone and you call up, and a basically a town car comes and picks you up and takes yeah. you to your destination. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, they've partnered, Uber has partnered with Spotify, which is a music service that you can use on your phone or well, whatnot. Well, streaming music action. Streaming okay. music action. And it, now there is a button inside the Uber app oh. that lets you pick a playlist to listen to inside your Uber ride. So, okay, so this girl is requesting an Uber. Mm -hmm. Okay. She's requesting an Uber and she's also picking a playlist. So now when she gets in the Uber, it will play the playlist inside of her Uber so she can dance straight from her house. Oh, they're into jamming her car. in this house. Yeah, I didn't Here know. Here comes that, the Uber. Yep. Okay, mm -hmm. she's leaving. That's a very slim door. 
Yep, there's the town car. There's this ca I'm sorry, but can I just say, I've never had an Uber driver get out of their car smiling and waiting for me. They well, just and be like, handsome, okay, too. Yeah. Like, yeah. And be a, like a debonair like Rick guy. Fox. Right, it's exactly. Isn't that ridiculous? Um, but That's it's, cool. Yeah, you get to pick any playlist you want. The, the driver gets to control the, the um, loudness, of course. Well, that's good. That's uh, good thing. But, but this is, uh, we didn't expect this partnership to come along. So it's, it's pretty interesting. It is a little weird. Yeah, it's, it's weird. But it's kind of cool. If you're party, if you're I like, you and that. your friends are going out to a party and you need a ride, like, so you can be gotta get your you gotta get your party mix yeah, on. Yeah, you can put your LMFA on. Yeah. Uh, it's launching in only ten <laughs> cities. <laughs> it's launching in ten cities. What you don't still us? It'll LMFAO? just be. You know what the sad thing is? Is okay. Wait, tell me about the launch cities, and then I'll tell you what the sad thing. Okay, is. launch cities are Los Angeles, London, New York City, Nashville, Me Mexico City, San Francisco, Singapore, Stockholm, Sydney, and Toronto. These are all. Oh. The major cities where it's already international cosmopolitan it's, cities. Yep, it's where it's you know they're already pretty big. So we should go your, take an Uber right after this. So the, the here's the here's the issue. You do have to have a Spotify account, which okay. is like okay. nine dollars. And a I, month. a premium, right? Yeah, yeah Spotify premium. premium. Okay. Spotify, and you you know have to order an Uber. You have obviously. to take an Uber somewhere. Yeah. So so there you go. Uh, also, they're going to have a, uh, a live live events on Friday. Oh, this okay. Friday, where you can win a chance to get a ride with some artists uh, that if you sync up and use this. Okay. The artists like Andrew WK, Jake Owen, and Diplo, one of my favorite musicians. I was gonna say two out of three of those artists I may have never heard of. Which one? But I won't say, but I two out of three of those artists. You you'll say, have to just guess. You, okay. Um, <laughs> you know, the sad <laughs> thing for me okay, is ahead. that the sad thing for me is that I can just imagine like, I feel really bad for some Uber drivers who are gonna get like a bachelorette party and it's gonna be two o'clock in the morning, and these girls are gonna be like, "Woo!" And they're gonna have, they're gonna just play over and over and over again. Turn down for what? Like it's oh, just gonna be on yeah. repeat. <laughs> and this poor Uber driver is just gonna be like, "I think this kill is me. this is like a response to though the fact that they pretty much when they get in the car, look, because they're want they're wanting a tip, right? They're wanting a good review or whatever. And so this is kind of to like. And up I, that, like, likely. Well, and haven't could. you ever taken an Uber and, like, the radio? Like, if somebody's playing something, you're just like, oh, I hate this song, right. and you well, wish you could change to, it? They try to assume what you'd listen to. They're yeah, like, oh, they you know what? Kids love rock. Maybe they guess by your picture, because it has, like, your picture, oh. like, your profile picture or whatever. Maybe they try to guess. So you would be, I'm guessing, Taylor Swift. Well, Taylor Swift not available on Spotify. Remember, Ooh. she took all her music off of it, so there's no shake it off for me. Thank I you knew very you were much. You trouble when you walked in. Oh boy. <laughs> um, so that brings us to our hashtag of the day, which is TD Uber Spot, and uh, because of this live event on Friday happening, I the question is, what playlist or song would you want to hear when an Uber driver came to pick you up mm -hmm. using the service, and what famous musician would you want? to be in the car as a ride along. Okay. And any any playlist? Any play even a song or album whatever. Okay. Uh Taylor Swift. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> and the music to listen to while Taylor's away playlist. Oh, perfect. I like that. That's good. I wonder if she she probably I'm really throwing, like that. I'm throwing No, but if I was to if I was it's to give you a shady. non Taylor Swift a answer, uh Jack Black. Okay. Because that would be fun to ride that with That would them. be amazing. And my Fallout 3 uh, playlist. Ah, oh, I like it. I'm wearing my Fallout shirt today anyway, so. It's... I was surprised you didn't say, like, Tenacious D that you would play today. No, you don't want to listen to our own music. music. Yeah. yeah, all right. So what sense. else, what do you got? What do you want? I would want to ride in a car at being inspired recently by Sonic Highways. I'd ride in a car with Dave Grohl. Because oh, okay, he just seems, cool. like, really cool and yeah. funny and, like, that you could have a lot of fun with him depending on where you're riding. And mm -hmm. in L.A., car rides take a really long time. And then I think I would want to listen to... Uh, I'd want, you know what, because it was Dave Grohl, I'd want to listen to like Britney Spears circa like early 2000s. To throw him off his game? When she was hot and had the snake. No, because I feel like we would totally like fan, like fangirl out a little bit and be like, and da like dance and go crazy to it. I yeah, feel like Dave Grohl is a teenage girl on the inside. Yeah. In his heart of yeah. hearts, I feel like maybe he's just just a little bit of a teenage girl, it's a good and choice. I and I love that about him. Yeah. But I feel like we could have a lot of fun listening to old Britney Spears, so we could sing along. I'd love to make Taylor Swift listen to Spotify. Oof, that'd be good. That would be pretty basic. All right, I would so that. so that's the question for you guys, basically. Yeah. So who would you ride in a car with? And what would and you have? What would you listen to? What would you force them to listen to? Yeah, what would you make so, them listen to? Or what would you just want to listen to? All right, so our third story is also music based. This is really really awesome. You have to check this out. We're going to show you this video. If you are listening to the show only, you have to watch this part of the video, I would say this is like the must watch. Mm -hmm. Also, I mean, the baseball robot, pretty amazing. Yeah. Um, 
I always love really cool music videos. This music video is from a guy named Nigel Stanford and a director named Shahir Dowd. And uh, Nigel Stanford decided one day uh, after seeing a, a documentary about people with um, synesthesia, uh, it stuck with him. These are people with like audiovisual disorders, thing, people who say like, when I hear sound, I can also see color. Like I can see the color and sound, things like that. So he then saw a video years later called um, Cymatics, which is the study of um, visual sound. So he decided he wanted to make this video. So this is really cool. Each sound and each audio track uses Cymatics visualizations to form the basis of the track's composition, so how it's all put together. So um, this right here is a Cladney plate. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's a thin metal plate that vibrates when sound waves run through it, so they put sand sprinkled on the surface. And then this right here, this uh, speaker, the bass track, has a, a thin dish of frozen vodka inside there to make, it was a little more viscous, so that's why they put frozen vodka inside. Gotcha. Then water. And then uh, the drum is visualized uh, using a hose pipe attached to a subwoofer, so you can see it changes like based on the frequency. It's a very specific frequency to be able to get water to do that. Um, wow, that yeah. looks amazing. It's really, really cool. And uh, okay, so then they had this, which was um, cards on a record player that they were playing, and then they, they flick against the microphone to make this sound. And then uh, they also had the piano track right here. This is uh, ferro fluid. It's in a long, shallow dish, and there's magnets that are activated by the keys. So he puts all these things together and creates this amazing music video and, and also a really cool electronic track that you can check out. You can head over to his website. Again, his name's Nigel Stanford. I wanna make sure he gets a bunch of credit. He's a New Zealander. Um, he's, he's a musician. He obviously loves the study of cymatics and also, uh, and the song conveniently is called Cymatics, so it's really easy to remember. And this is off of his new album, uh, Solar Echoes. Cool. Isn't that neat? Like, How's I, the music? It's really cool. Like I really, it's very. What does um, it sound like? It's there's a lot of like blows and things like that in there okay. because you, like Not depending dubstep. on the sound. Uh no, I wouldn't call okay. it dubstep. It's not like electronica. Oh okay. Interesting, sort of like industrial electronic music, like kind of what I would refer to it as. Yeah, I guess you have the most control over like crazy sounds when you're doing electronic. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, they just had a lot of control over everything they were making inside that studio. So I just thought that was yeah. really neat. Um, you have to check out the music video. You yeah. have to watch it and listen to the song. It's pretty cool. Link to, link in in the in the show description. Yes, of course. If you go over to the article for this show, um, you can find all of the links and stuff to everything that you see and hear about on the show. Yeah, and if you're on YouTube, you can if you go to the CNET. Uh, tomorrow daily. I noticed a lot of people are having problems finding those links. I know they're on the they're on the CNET thing. Well, maybe what we could try to do is put them in the description for our YouTube. Videos. Yeah, we can. Because I love I love the YouTube people. I'm gonna yeah. I'll do, I'll, you, know. you hook them up. I'll come on. All right, no all right. Deal. Well, on that on that note, we're gonna take a quick 30 second break, but we'll be right back with a very exciting colleague of ours got to take a trip to the bionic oh, bar oh okay on quantum i am Seas. i am severely excited about I know. this so like, we're gonna it's painful we're gonna check that out and then of course we have your user feedback and our phone tower for the day so don't click away returned uh Caitlin. this is awesome this is really he's, really really cool listen he's jacked up about this okay because what happened is here i'll, I'll lead it in a little Please. bit okay what happened is we reported on the show about this cruise ship that had so many robotics the and stuff quantum like that right? of the seas the, the most high-tech cruise ship ever to be created right and during the show i was like uh, it's like one of the first ones where i was like uh let's see if they can send us or whatever like ah that'd be cool and then, and then, and and then, then they were like, yes. They actually, like, you know, we always go like, hey, call us. They did. And, they did. Which was pretty cool. So we couldn't get, we couldn't go there, right? It's in New so, York. Sorry, this is how excited. It's, it's, it's in New York. But they were like, oh, I'll cover this whole ship and everything. But we were like, no, 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 no. The thing we want the most is the robotic the robot bar. bartenders. It's all we care about. 
Okay, you finish. That's so fine. we sent our very own uh, CNET's update reporter, Bridget Carey, uh, over to the ship because she is based in New York, and we had her uh, go hang out with the bionic bartenders. So and it's as cool as we thought it was. It was is really cool. Except so, for it's like spinning boats, whatever. It's great. Check this out. Well, it's not often you can get served by robots. In this case, we're at the Bionic Bar on Quantum of the Seas, where robot bartenders serve up drinks constantly. All you have to do is order your drink from an app, and about a minute later, out it comes. With each cocktail, the robot arms reach up above to gather the proper liquor proportions. When the drink is ready, it's poured into a plastic cup. For it to be picked up, you have to tap your wristband. If ordering from a soulless machine concerns you, there will be waiters. The waiters also serve as the eyes on the ground to make sure minors don't try to use other people's bracelets to order alcohol. But there is a plus side to ordering from machines. You don't have to tip. Now, Royal Caribbean didn't make these robots. They're actually from a company called Maker Shaker. They've been working on these for a while now, and they made a deal with Royal Caribbean to get it on Quantum of the Seas, and you may see it on other cruise ships later, too. But the challenge in building a robot like this goes beyond programming the arm. But actually the big challenge was to build everything around the robot in a way that this would become like an extension of your arm when you want to make a cocktail. These robots were developed in the city of Torino, Italy, which is a fitting home for a cocktail shaking bot. Torino is the birthplace of martini and vermouth. Next to the bar are these really cool screens that give you an idea of how much wait time you have for the next drink. You can see who's up next, so you can see how long it takes until your drink comes along in the queue. And get some trivia on what the most popular drinks are with different age groups. I keep having enough of these, I'm going to start wanting to tell this thing my problems. It's been a hard day at work, guys. I don't think human bartenders need to worry about losing their jobs just yet. Well, that is, until they can teach this thing to put the little umbrella in the drink. Not bad for a robot. I'll take another one of these. Keep, just keep them coming. Keep them coming. So that was Bridget Carey's trip to the Bionic Bar on the Quantum of the Seas. It's Royal Caribbean's flag, new flagship cruise ship. Um, if you want to check out a, a full tour, uh, Bridget actually did a tour of the other parts of the ship, which yeah. are also very, very cool over on her show, Update. So if you want to check that out, make sure you head over to CNET's Update and you can check out uh, the rest of Quantum of the Seas. But thank you, Bridget. Yeah, thank you very much, Bridget. For that going was... out and drinking on our behalf. Yeah, that looks great. I didn't. She didn't tell us what really she fun. ordered, though. It looked like maybe, uh, I was going to call a Tokyo tea. That's what it looked like oh, to me. Oh, a Tokyo tea? Yeah. I don't know what that you is. You know, it's, it's like a Long Island iced tea, but it has Midori in it instead of oh, okay. like Coke. So it changes she the color. She's like a classy lady. I've never met her. Fun fact. She seems nice. I used to be a bartender. So. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Fun fact. Bar used to be a bartender. I can even flip, like, I can flip the bottles and stuff, do a little bit of flair. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's really fun. Yeah. I, I like the fact that you don't have to tip them, too. Yes, I, I really quite enjoy that. Um, but, you know, it's like that's another couple of bartenders who aren't working. Now they can go on a cruise. <laughs> I have time to go on a cruise. They're not working on the weekends. Well, time to get more tattoos all yeah. over their body. Hey, hey, hey. Relax, <laughs> relax. So that was, our, uh, that was our fantastic little trip to the Bionic Bar. Uh, once again, thanks, Bridget Carey. And uh, let's move on to your user feedback. Well, last week, we asked you guys, I know it seems like forever ago, but we asked you about PlayStation's View service. Oh, yeah. So the, the View service introduced cool. by Sony to kind of cut out the middleman of your cable service and provide you with television straight through your PlayStation. Were people happy or mad? Here's the thing, yeah, we got really mixed responses oh, on it. mixed this. responses, so okay. So Gabs wrote and said, I would try it, but it does depend on price and channel availability. I love my Netflix a lot, but I'm a huge PlayStation fan. So there okay. you go. Uh, all right, all right. Stefan wrote to us and said, I would need BBC. Actually, should I read this in a British accent? Yes. I would need BBC. That is all I would want from it. Mostly for Doctor Who That's and good. Sherlock and Top Gear and about a million others. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Was this that a good is, British yeah, accent? Yeah, this is good. Pretty it was, terrible, it was I'm sure. It was not that great. It was not that great. Yeah, no, uh, but... That's BBC. That's a good point. Yeah, that's so all I need is BBC, though. I think they can lock that down. I think they could probably lock down one channel for you. Dane wrote, uh, I would have to be paid to leave cable, bottom line. He's just straight up, like, you would have to pay me to leave my cable provider. Hmm. The end. All right. Period. End of story. I'm glad there there is one is. person that stuck to Just that like, nope. to cable. Yeah, yeah. cable all the way. Pretty... 
Then we got Mike's an email. I guess. We got an email from Chris. He said, I am all about any a la carte media offerings, but I hope they have an advertisement free offering. Amazon allows you to pay a little less and see ads or pay a little more and not see ads. I really like this business model. Sony could do this or even offer different advertising tiers. And then he gave us some examples. Netflix and HBO is pay service, no ads. Basic TV, free service with ads. Cable TV, pay service with ads. What? Boo. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. But it's, it's like Hulu. Point. But it's yeah. like Hulu. It's like Hulu, you pay and you have to watch ads. And they're really frequent. Yeah. I mean, not to complain time. about Hulu Plus, but guys, dial it back. Yeah, on SNL, there's like j there's more commercials than there is sometimes then on television. Skits. Yeah. I think the commercials are actually yeah. Saturday Night Live sketches. If you, joke's on you. If you look at it in a very meta way, you can actually get through Hulu Plus Saturday Night Live. Yeah. If you think like these are all really bad Saturday Night Live sketches yeah. that are just passed off <clears throat> as commercials. Well, it's just like whenever you watch like a clip from like, oh, it's a clip from The Simpsons or whatever, and the commercial's longer than the clip. How does that even happen? I, I just know. don't understand. That happens with YouTube videos, too. Yeah. You, know, you watch a trailer, and then they play a trailer. Before it's like, a 30-second no! trailer. <laughs> this and then is supposed sudden, to be an ad already. It's a 24-second clip, and you're just like, why? Why? What just happened here? So yeah, no, we totally get you guys. Yeah. Um, I, t I love it. Uh, but they I've, sound honestly kind of torn on it. They like, do. I think a lot of nobody, people are. They need to give this need to free info. for everybody for like two months to get everybody kind of like see what they Maybe think Maybe they'll of put it. it in beta, like PlayStation Now. Yeah. And then they'll say beta. like, what would you pay for this service? And then whatever people say, Sony will make it triple. <laughs> <laughs> Good point, guys. Great. <laughs> great price, guys. Yeah. Let's triple that. Too bad. That is what the price is. Okay, it's time for our final piece of user feedback, which is, of course, our photographer of the day. I really like this one. Yeah, are you ready to snap some pics? Yeah. Uh, this is from Jessica D. Okay. Nice, nice lady. Check out these shots. <gasps> She says, my husband and I were stationed in Hawaii for a few years. We, uh, we were sitting on the beach and I snapped this picture with my phone. A lot of people say they look like a postcard. I love your show and I hope you like it enough to put on your show. You guys rock. These photos were not photoshopped in any way. Not bad for an outdated phone. That's a Galaxy yeah, S3. Yeah, that's pretty look good. Look at that nice, I, oh man. They do look like a postcard. That makes me miss Hawaii. I've been like twice and I, wanna, I would like to go back. They were stationed there. So yeah, they were, they were like, stationed there. all up there, on so that military were, base. Look at that. Let's go. Wow, let's, yeah. Let, yeah. Be right back. Relocating the show to yeah. Hawaii. Hawaii see, Daily see is what yeah. we're going to change Hawaii show. Daily. We'll be right in between the US and Japan. Oh, that's great. We can report <laughs> on both of those things. Yeah, There's a volcano so going on. But yeah, but those are great. No, it's super S3. good. S3. Yeah, Galaxy S3. Pretty good. Wow. I was like, really impressive. That's impressive, yeah. Yeah, that's what I say. So thanks, Jessica. Uh, if you guys want to send in your photography or if you'd like to contribute to our hashtag of the day uh, or you want to give us tips, phone, uh, story ideas, whatever, uh, you can always email us tomorrow at cnet.com. And of course, uh, if you hate email, you can find us on social media. We're Tomorrow Daily on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Tomorrow Daily TV over on Google+. And to you YouTube friends, don't forget to subscribe. And you iTunes listeners, don't forget to add that. Like all of Rate and review us on iTunes. Yeah, rate and review us on iTunes. It does really help. I know that right. we're CNET, right. and that seems like maybe we don't need your help. But there are a lot of podcasts out there, you guys. So yeah. video podcasts, too. There's like too, a so. couple of other podcasts out there. Yeah, there's still one or two. There's one so, or two. So, um, so just... please rate and review us. That always really helps, and we do appreciate it. And downvote them. Yeah, just bad reviews. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. no, please don't. No, so don't, don't. Rate everything Watch you like listen. really nicely, and then mm. just say nothing about the things you don't like. Because if you can't say something nice, say nothing at all. And don't forget our t personal Twitters. Yes, you can find me at Ashley Esqueda over on Twitter, and uh, this at guy. At Kellen Lomas here. Pretty, Kellen pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, I pretty, like it. Pretty easy. All right. That is it for the show today. We will be back tomorrow with a full, fresh new docket of weird, wonderful technology and geek news. Uh, so until then, be good humans. We'll see you next time. Bye.